Hi everyone, my name is Deb Faleda. I'm the author of True Love Dates and the creator of truelovedates.com, which is a website where I write about love, dating, relationships, and the idea of finding true love. Um, as a professional counselor, I get a lot of questions from men and women, particularly about relationships because it's one of my specialties and something that I love to chat about. But one question that keeps coming up is the question of, does God only have one person in mind for me to marry? And I think this is a really good question and one that we have a lot of different perspectives about out there in the church. Um, in my personal life, I've had people that I've highly respected that have believed completely different things about this question. In fact, my marriage psychology professor, uh, he was a loud candidate that he believed that no, there wasn't just one person out there for you. You could marry person A, B, or C and still have a fulfilling marriage and still be in God's will. And in fact, one thing that he used to tell us was, you know, imagine Mary ended up marrying Bob, but God really wanted her to marry Bill. Well then, because of her poor choice, then Bill is out of God's will, and then whoever Bill marries is also out of God's will, and then on and on and on of people who have chosen to marry someone other than God's one for them. And so he talked about that a lot, and I, I know that's kind of an extreme perspective, but then there's this other perspective of people who believe that there truly is just one person out there for you in all of the world, and you have to find that person and make that choice to commit to them because they are the one for you. And I know that can put a lot of pressure on people. It's, it's the idea of, oh no, I have to find this person. It's like finding a needle in a haystack, and it can just get really stressful. Um, in fact, it can still instill in us fear. And I know a lot of young men and women who kind of live out of fear when it comes to dating and relationships instead of out of faith because they're afraid of making the wrong marriage choice. So one thing I want to do in addressing this question is to kind of ease your fear and give you a different perspective. It's, not, it's interesting because even my husband and I believe different things about this and we ended up married um, and we have an amazing relationship and I'm so thankful for him, but it just goes to show you that you can truly have different beliefs about these things. Um, and here's why. When people ask me this question, does God only have one person out there for me or is it possible for me to marry person A, B, or C? My answer is always this. It doesn't really matter. And I know that sounds like a cop out and I know that you, you know, you want black and white answers, but I think the truth of this question comes down to the answer of it doesn't really matter for a couple of reasons. In my mind, as I process this and as I help couples process this in, in premarital counseling and um, in, in the, the couples that I work with, I think the bottom line is this, when you meet someone you have to go through a series of steps, a series of decision making, a series of questions that need to be answered before you choose to commit to them for the rest of your life. So whether you believe that there is only one person out there for you, or whether you believe that there are multiple people out there that you could possibly marry, the conclusion is still the same. The process is still the same. In True Love Dates, I actually commit an entire chapter to talking about what I call the seasons of dating. And the seasons of dating proposes that upon meeting someone for the very first time until the day that you get married, you go through four seasons or four stages of a dating relationship. And each of those stages reveals to you characteristics qualities, answers questions, and, and just kind of opens your eyes to whether or not this person that you're with is a wise marriage choice. And, and, and along the way reveals to you how to become refined and how to become a better person along the way. So whether or not you believe there's only one person out there for you, you still have to make the same relationship choices in order to get to marriage. Um, you still have to have wisdom and discretion. You still have to let your guard down. You still have to ask those questions and, and to really go, undergo this process of learning about the person that God has placed before you. 
um, in order to know whether or not there's someone that you want to commit to for the rest of your life. And in True Love Dates, I talk a lot about the idea of becoming healthy and whole and understanding who you are. You can't know what you want in a relationship until you know who you are. And I think oftentimes we neglect that piece and we're looking for this vision or this sign from God or this writing in the sky or this spotlight or this voice to tell us this is the one. When really God has given us wisdom and he's equipped us and, and he wants us to get to know who we are so that we can recognize what kind of person fits into our life and you know at the end of the day whether or not you believe this one in this one or not when you choose to marry someone the moment you say I do you have committed to them the moment you say I do they become the one that God has for you for the rest of your life and after that there's no going back and there's no regrets so I think the process of dating is a really important time um, not to be looking for signs from heaven or or visions or you know this this feeling this magical feeling that we're looking for but also to be on guard and aware of all the factors that we need in a relationship and all the things that we're looking for that we would know those things in advance that we would know who we are that we would know what we need so that we know when the right person comes along for us to commit to in marriage um, so, so guys, I just want you to, to breathe easy and just to relax knowing that God has your best in mind. Um, he knows what you need. And as, as, as you trust him and as you commit to him, he reveals to you those things and he helps you to get to know you as well as he knows you, um, because he knows what you need and he knows what's best for you. So I just want to leave you guys with that, with, with, with a couple thoughts there. Um, if you want to learn more about the seasons of dating, feel free to check out True Love Dates. Um, there's also a whole list of FAQs there in the back for you guys um, of just the top dating questions that I've, that I've been asked and just some great conversation starters when it comes to the topic of love, dating, and relationships. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure chatting with you guys and God bless.